peoples, and welcome back to Jodan 54's new Super Mario Brothers Wii walkthrough. In the last episode, we took care of 6-4 and 6-mini fortress in the shortest level up, the shortest episode of this walkthrough so far. In fact, it didn't even cap out longer than 10 minutes. Let's see if this video will be the same. Probably won't. Who knows? So anyway, we're going to start out with an above water level. I highly recommend bringing a fire flower. Or a propeller mushroom if you have one, obviously. <laughs> this level's pretty cool. Uh, it has a secret exit, and the secret exit is even cooler. But, guess what? It's the Porcupuffer. Oh man, he's back. And he's back to be annoying. That's what he's back to be. And he's really weird looking sometimes. So, uh, this is why I recommended uh, bringing a fire flower. So you can shoot this guy and miss a million times. Come on. There we go. Right, so that takes care of him. He will come back, but at least he's gone for now. Now I'm gonna get the normal exit first. Now when you reach this part, uh, the water's gonna start going up and down. And there will be some big question mark blocks floating in the water. Now, I really like the secret exit, even though it's kind of cryptic. But I like it nonetheless because I remember getting it by pure luck. Take three. Well, I've died twice now. Oh, pff. get out of the way. Come on. Porky Puffer's about to show up and you're gonna get hurt. Ow, like that. Ah. Uh. Great, this does not look any better than the other two attempts. In fact, it looks worse! Come on! Oh no, I am so dead. Ugh! Oh, come on! Yes, alright. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Alright, propeller block. Just gonna propeller our way over here. The third star coin is strictly a uh, secret exit path only. But. Uh, oh, I killed him with the propeller block. That was convenient. But since I'm not getting the secret exit right now, that won't happen. Oh, here we go. Jump off this block and... Oh, yeah! What up, Mushroom? Mario time. Mario time. That'll open up the path to one of my least favorite levels in this game. Alright, time for the secret exit. I'll see you there. Okay, here we go. I died trying to get the secret exit. How's that? Good thing this Starman like, speeds you up. Alright, I killed him. Nice. Now I have ample opportunity to get myself this secret exit. So you swim in between those two blocks, and you hit a vine block. And that's how I died last time. The vine block pushed me downward, and I hit the porky puffer. So this vine will bring you upward here, to where there is a propeller block, and some flying blocks. Yeah, screw propeller blocks, oh, flying blocks. Although they just fly in a fixed pattern, but still. <laughs> So your third star coin is right up there. And you know what? I'm not going to take below one up for that. There we go. It's not like I had 99 lives or anything. I had 98. Pfft. So that secret exit will take you all the way out there in that pipe, which is another passage to the fortress. Which is a really cool path considering you go in that pipe and you go all the way up there through a pipe which you'd otherwise have to walk around, walk on. Oh, I am not looking forward to this level. Oh. 
It's a cave level. It's an underground level. There's water. It's a raft. And the icing on the cake? Tunnel vision. Bring a propeller mushroom or an ice flower. The penguin suit will actually do pretty nicely. Here we go. Probably won't be seeing this take. Take two. Come on. All right, here we go. Sliding down again. So it's so this is a raft that moves as soon as you uh, land on it, but you're gonna have to hit this question mark switch to turn on the light here. Now you control the light with your Wiimote. You shake the Wiimote and it spins the light. You're gonna have to use your light to find all the star coins. Now for your first star coin, you're gonna have to bounce up here, jump your way up here, and stay up here for a little while until you come across this pal block. As soon as you have the pal block in hand, do not jump. Just fall back onto the raft. Otherwise, if you hit the top, you're gonna drop the pal block and you might miss your opportunity to get that first star coin. That's what happened in take one. All right, so we're just gonna move along here. It's kind of a slow moving level if uh, you're not trying to like, desperately trying not to die. But thank God for this star man, because it gets rid of all the problems uh, caused by tunnel vision. By the way, the water seems to... The water in this level, for some reason, like, churns all over the place. Like, it churns when you get up and down. It's weird. And the raft does, too. And there's our flagpole there. Expect more deaths. I can just see him coming. On the next death, I'll say take three, even though uh, I started from the flagpole. It's just, it would just be the next death. So, if I were to die here, which I probably will, there's another springboard there. So now I have two springboards on here. And, uh, the good thing about this level is that it provides you with plenty of power-ups. Like this ice flower here. You can bounce off of those trampolines to get yourself your second star corn, or you can have good timing with these swoop packs, whether it means freezing them in midair or jumping off of them. And there's a P switch here, which I probably won't get all the coins to, but hey, what can you do? Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, ow! <sighs> Alright, so we got ourselves a propeller block, which you're gonna want for this third star coin. It makes your life infinitely easier, especially when you drop it and it almost drowns you. Oh, come on, trampoline, trampoline! Yes, alright! You can use the trampoline uh, if you don't have the uh, propeller block. Now, here comes the hard part. Blindly dodging fireballs. They're coming from that fire bro right there. And as soon as you come over here, you're safe for, for then. But then he's gonna start shooting this way too. And he's gonna call out his friend, Anya. And make things even worse. But there's a hidden block right there, which will allow you to, most of the time, safely dodge those fireballs more easily. And you can use these barrels to get back at them and kill them. All right, so only one death. That was that was nice. I like that. Anyways, so we're home free, but unfortunately, this isn't the last we'll see of this level. Cause guess what? There's a secret exit. But it's the secret exit that leads to a cannon. But guess what? That secret exit is kind of pointless considering it brings you to World Eight, which is the same thing that the cannon in World Five did. So if you're a speedrunner, it's not something I recommend. Although the paths that uh, you unlock by, from being this level, both the normal and the secret exit, are really cool. Now look at that. Just by beating this level, you get access to the fortress. Which is a, a, a huge ways up. And it's really cool seeing Mario walk up there. And, uh... But we're not there, not here to do that now. We're here to get this secret exit. So I'll see you there. 
Okay, secret exit. First off, I'm gonna kill these bats with ow, the propeller block, and almost die. Um, but our way to the secret exit is up here. Propeller blocks easily helps a lot. Now, don't jump here. Just wait until you can see what's ahead of you. Then shoot this. Oh, I, what, what happened? Ah. Oh. All right, die. <laughs> That's what I do to all my problems. I kill them. Anyways. Ah, oh, this pipe right up here. You take that pipe. And it'll bring you to a dark area. Where you pick up this. And then you can look through this area here. With this light block. You're gonna have to dodge a bunch of bats, though. It helps because you can see their eyes. Yeah, not so easy to hit me when I'm blind now, is it? No, uh, that's... Alright. So, whoa, that was close. Alright. Yeah, this... Alright, so, let's see here. I just ran through that block, what the heck? Alright, so, let's see here. Alright. So here we go. And this is pretty much the same look as it was before, except that platform is much smaller. And I didn't get the one up flag. Oh well. So, so I just, as I just said, this, this secret exit will bring you to the cannon. All the way down there. Which obviously brings you to World 8. Alright. So, with that all done, that's it for this episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii Walkthrough. Bye-bye.